Hello and welcome back to some WP3D models training. Uh, today we're going to add your first model and uh, what we're looking at here is a fresh copy of WordPress. You may have an existing WordPress site. Uh, either way, the steps are going to be the same. Uh, if you are running a fresh copy of WordPress, uh, there is one step that you may want to do before we get into adding a model. We're going to go through that really quickly. Um, over here in settings, uh, you're going to see a page uh, called permalinks. Now, uh, we don't need to get into exactly what permalinks are, but uh, essentially leaving it as plain will not work with WP3D models. We're going to want to switch to something else that is a little more human readable. Uh, in this case, let's just go with post name and then click save changes. Again, if you're running an existing site, no need to change this. In fact, you shouldn't change it if you already have a published site. Okay, back to models. Now, we don't have a single model added at this point, uh, so we're going to go ahead and add a new model. This link here, add a new model, and this button here do the exact same thing. So we are running WP3D Models 3.0 and there's a lot of new features. We're going to get into each and every one of those over time, but for the purposes of this video, we're going to stick with the model base of Matterport, and um, we're going to go ahead and add a model here, uh, add a title. Uh, this is a spacious four bedroom, three and a half bath home. Uh, this is using a sample model from Matterport's website, and that's it. Um, a title, Matterport URL, and we're going to go ahead and publish. Now at this point, WP3D is actually going back to Matterport and retrieving some information from your saved model. That includes the image and uh, any public data that's stored as part of Matterport's API. So if you scroll down, you're actually going to see that it pulled over the featured image directly from the Matterport model, and uh, or the Matterport space, and behind the scenes are um, bits of data that we've pulled over, uh, including the address uh, of the model if that information has been entered. So, uh, a couple things now. That's it for adding a model, but uh, you're going to want to see it. This link here, the permalink, this is the link that goes to what we call the standard view. This is the basically what your model will look like, but wrapped in your specific theme. Um, we're going to look at something a little different though. Um, the most important uh, menu on this screen, perhaps, is this WP3D Models Tools menu at the top. Now this gives you access to all of the views that are generated by WP3D. Uh, the most popular being the skinned view. This is our single property web page view. So we're going to go ahead and click on this to open it in a new tab. And here we are. Um, basically without any branding, we haven't added any global settings, we haven't done anything except install WP3D, and then we've added a Matterport model. It built this title, it, it wrapped the title in that animation, added the play button. Um, go ahead and click the play button, and you'll see that it loads behind, fades away the initial image, and you're into your playing model. For the purposes of this video, that's it. That's all it takes to add a Matterport space to WP3D models.